right, guys, we are on my main account. And as you see, I'm cosplayed as Zavia today because we do have a 10X couples event pretty much going on all weekend. We do have 10X Zavia. I would love to have her on my accounts. She's amazing. We do have poison on her A1. A2 is an AOE poison. A3, AOE, block revive, and deals damage to all poison debuffs and target instantly. So kind of like a explosion, right? And then we have Camelicious partner. Hey, Pistol thank you so much for the follow. You got this last two days. Nice. And then we have the Calamicious Partner, which is a debuff spread, which is with Bellinor, right? And then her aura is increased the ally attack in all battles by 33%. I would love to be able to get her and try to pair up with like my Urlgrim in Dragon, try to get those runs faster than what they are. So she's definitely one I don't have that I would love. I'm not pulling voids for Bellinor, but I really, really want to try to see if we can get a Zavia. So we are going to do today is I'm going to pull 17 Ancients and I got two Sacreds to pull. So I don't know, guys, you know how these 10X are. Are we getting a Legendary? Are we going to get scammed? Are we gonna get a good epic? Are we all gonna get food? I mean, I don't know, anything can happen, right? But as usual, we are gonna start with a sacrifice for good RNG and good vibes. Hey, I did get a rare. I got a rare in my sacrifice, you know? That's gotta be good luck. All right, here we go. So I am gonna start with, we'll do seven singles. Then we're gonna do a 10 pull and then we're gonna do two sacreds, okay? All right, let's do this. We're going to start with some singles. Then, like I said, we're going to go for that spicy 10 pull. You know? <laughs> I don't even need to say it. Layla the Dwarf Queen. All right, five more. Okay. Lots of food. Food's okay. Food's all right. I'm all right with that. We do have CVC next week, too. Oh, we got Fleshmonger, huh? So Fleshmonger's a good piggy. The only thing you gotta be careful from is he gets a little handsy, guys. <laughs> gotta watch out for him. I mean, he can be, he, you know, he can give you a helping hand in a faction wars, but watch out. He gets a little handsy. Two. Lego! Oh, my God, Lord Champfort! Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. I mean, it's not Zavia, but I'll take that. <laughs> not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting, but okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> oh, this guy's new. I don't have him. This is brand new, brand new. Oh my goodness. I just got... Didn't I just get a Lego too? I feel like I just got a Lego. All right, so this guy is new for me. Let's take a look at his kit. A1 is called Annihilation. It's a, let's see, single target decreased defense. A2 is called Earthshaker. AOE, decreased accuracy and decreased attack. His passive is called Thorn Spear. At the start of each turn, places a shield on him and does a decreased speed for one turn whoever enemy attacks the champ. Okay. And that's that's just not on one, right? Like that's that's multiple, I'm assuming. And then increase the ally HP in dungeons by 50%. That is really neat. He's good in Hydra. Awesome. Okay. Yay! This is exciting then. This is really exciting. Awesome. I I didn't expect that. <laughs> well, guys, we did not get scammed. Lego. I asked, were we going to get a Lego or are we gonna get scammed? This is not a scam. A Lego. He's good in Scarab. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. Because of the shield, right? Yeah, he shields himself. Yeah, new champ, guys. This dude's new for me. So like I said, I know he's not Zavia. I know he's not Zavia, but, but I'll take it. I, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Can I get anything else? One more, then we're gonna do a 10 pull. One more than a 10 pull. Of course, it's a dwarf. All right. That's really exciting. So 10. And then we got two sacreds to pull, too. And the good is all just going to be food. So let's see what we're going to have here. Food for my Lord Champfort. He can solo the scarab. Ooh. All right, guys. Two sacreds. Let's go. Two sacreds. 
Soul Drinker, last one. One more, one more. And Lodric. Okay, so we did get one Lego. We got Lord Champfort, which is really, really exciting. It's always fun being able to get new ones. Like I said, no Zavia, but it was a new legendary. So I'm really, really excited about that. All right, guys, it is the 10X event for Venus and Cupidus. And we're going to be pulling 20 Void Shards and one Sacred for Zargo. You know, he's hopeful to get a Venus, but at this point, you know, he there's so many different Void Legendaries, which are great. We do know the chance is really, really minimal, but you know what? He's in. He wants to try, so we're going to do it. So fingers crossed, guys. Little luck, little blessings. Let's do this. Good luck. Here we go. All right, let's go. So we're going to start with the voids, and then we're going to do that spicy sacred. Cold hearts. Padma. All right, so we're starting off with some good stuff here. Behind me is Daywalker. Ooh, two cold hearts. Very nice. Two cold hearts and a Padma. That's really good. All right, what do we got? Anything? Or just food? Ox, get out of here. Behind me is a Marcus. All right. And then that one, that one sacred. I know that easy double cold heart. I'm telling you guys, I am the cold heart and apothecary whisperer. If you guys need cold hearts and apothecaries for the most part, I'm just, I don't know, I'm always pulling them. All right, one juicy sacred. Good luck. What's this one sacred gonna give us? What do we got? What do we got? And it is. Ooh, Sanisha. We actually really, really like Sanisha. She is a fantastic champ. I don't know if you have her sister Skull Crown or not, but this is a good, good pickup. Very good pickup. Congratulations. Thank you so much for letting us pull your shards. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.